Hello everyone, back to tuning into episode 17 of Stratwart. So here we go again, time to bring you more stratospheric data We're up to episode 17. Now it's probably the penultimate episode as well. I think we might do one more uh, next week. Episode 18 will probably be the uh, last episode, the last installment for this season of Strat Watches for uh, 2023-24. What an epic and entertaining season it's been, but I hope you enjoyed the uh, Strat Watches. As I say, if you have got like this one and uh, next week's are still to go. All right, so let's talk about for you in a moment. We're going to be confirming SSW essentially has uh, taken place in uh, this one. No, more about that in a second. Just say that first video release there was at 6 p.m. UK weather forecast, and then we're going to be live at 6 p.m. and have a Wednesday evening live stream. Um, show check in at 6 if you're around the channel, and we'll do our 10 to 14 day uh, live. Um, when Strat Watch ends next week, we'll probably end the live streams on Wednesday next week as well. For the time being, so uh, after that, the uh, Wednesday live streams will just be the Wednesday 10 40 day, I should say, uh, will just be like a regular video upload for, for a couple of months, just as we scale things down for a couple of months through the spring, and then it'll all start picking back up again when we get to around May, June time, as ever. Um, right, so that's the plan. Anyway, I'm off on a tangent, so sorry about that, everybody. Um, so uh, let's uh, crack on then with episode 17 of Strat to Watch. So here we go. We're starting off with this chart that you know so well from the uh, JMA. So the black line shows where we've been with stratospheric temperatures at 10 HPA and where we currently are versus average, which, of course, is the grey line. What a funny old season. It's been with uh, lots and lots of uh, warming events taking place. None of them, until the latest one, <laughs> able to... <coughs> so, sorry, buddy. None of them, I made myself cough. None of them, until the most recent one, able to uh, consistently uh, set the zone wing into reverse. But, uh, but yeah, very strange season. And, and this warming that has done the job, done the trick, and give us a... A genuine, proper, sudden stratospheric warming event. That doesn't reach the level of temperature that we actually reached at the beginning of January with the SSW that only managed to reverse his own wind for 24 hours or so. So, uh, what well, a funny old season. But anyway, we're currently somewhere around minus uh, 35, something like that. We are significantly above average at this point in March. We should be hovering somewhere around minus 50. Five something like that. If we go a little bit lower down to 30 HPA as well, we can see that warming has taken place there also. So uh, we're currently hovering somewhere around minus 43 maybe. At this point in March, we should be around minus 63, something like that. So at both levels of uh, the stratosphere, 10 and 30 HPA, we are uh, significantly above average yet again. And this is how the temperature profile is looking from uh, the GFS at Manchester Seal. So warming, of course, happened over Russia and Siberia, penetrating into the North Pole, causing a displacement event of the polar vortex with these blue colours shoved out of the pole down into North America, North Atlantic, and northern parts of Europe. As we run through, we find another warming gathers pace. This one's centered over northern Europe, actually. Um, a significant warming through the north of Europe there uh, in around uh, five or six days' time. That one doesn't really get anywhere towards the uh, North Pole, but just these temperatures generally above average to the middle of March. After that, well, we find that uh, the temperature starts to come down a little bit, but, of course, we're now very late into the season, so we're not going to see anything dramatically cold by the 21st of March, probably close to average with those temperatures at 10 p.m. of stratosphere, somewhere around minus uh, 48, something like that. So, uh, a major sudden stratospheric warming event has occurred. The gold standard, the same that you have had, uh, having have had a major SSW event, it's said the zone wind into reverse at 10 HPA, and we have indeed done that. So, this is from weatheriscool.com. You can see the book, so this was zero line just here. Um, and you can see if we change the colour about the blue line is significantly under now 
the uh, the zero line. Oh, that tells us that so the wings are reverse or are in reverse, have reversed at 10 HPA over the Arctic and over North Pole, 60 degrees north, which is the gold standard, say that a SSW has happened. Now, GFS ensembles are generally keeping the zero wing in reverse for the next couple of weeks as well. So, again, that's the zero line. See how these green lines, these are the GFS ensembles, how they are underneath the zero line for the next week, the next couple of weeks. Maybe just a hint, but by the very end of the GFS ensembles, we might be starting to claw our way back just to ever, to ever so slightly positive with the uh, zero win but basically we've got two weeks worth of uh sustained um reversal of zero win there so a uh, very significant developments of course it's not only the gfs also the ecm is uh, predicting this so um this from university of berlin so on the 5th of march we find that zero win is at minus 5.8 ms it's at 60 degrees north and uh, we get to 240 hours which is the 14th of March, and we find the time when it's still in reverse at minus 10.460 degrees north. So at least 10 days of reversal of zonal wind. And also at 30 HPA as well, we're going to sustain a reversal of zonal wind there too. So on the 10th of March, we are at minus 1.4, 60 degrees north, 30 HPA, and then at 240 hours, which is the 14th of March again. We're at uh, still in reverse at minus 3.4. So again, we see uh, sustained reversal of zero winds. If this had happened in January, then <laughs> we will probably be looking at a very dramatic uh, cold, you know, possibilities, cold potential. Because this is happening in March, the, uh, the prospects of what this is going to do in the troposphere um, are, are potentially a lot less dramatic. But having said that, you know, uh, we uh, still need to be monitoring what's going on here because even into April, you can get consi considerable levels of northern blocking um, and, and, and colder weather as well. Uh, right, this is the temperature forecast from the extended ECM for 10 HPA in terms of the temperature anomaly. So uh, this is the current week, of course, 11 to the 18th of March. No, actually, this is next week, sorry. 11 to the 18th of March. These are deep red colours. That's the warming, uh, warmth of the strategy that we've been uh, talking about week two. Keeps so those warm, warm temperatures going. Coming down a little bit, but still above average. Week three, 25th of uh, March, the 1st of April. Still above average. Yeah, week four, 1st of the 8th of April. So it's turning a bit colder over Siberia. And at the final week, it's going to be the 8th through to the 15th of March. And uh, cooling is taking place then. If the strat does cool down into April, we may well find the zero wind picking back up into positive territory again. So this probably isn't the uh, final warming of the season. Normally, the final warming uh, and final ultimate destruction of PV happens at the end of April, late April into early May, usually on average. So this, although this is a very, very sustained reversal zone win, I suspect it probably isn't the final warming and that there probably is one more still to come right at the end of, uh, of April, which is like a cyclical warming happening due to the, due to the strengthening uh, and, and warming, strengthening sun and warming time of the year. Finally, this is how the uh, solar wind forecast is looking from the extended ECM. Again, confirming that solar winds are in reverse, so that's the zero line just there. Uh, of course, so we're currently here, we're currently underneath the zero line. We're going to go even week with the zero wind over the uh, next week or so as well. Sustain reversal of zero winds at least until uh, late uh, March or early April, by which time we see the thick blue line, which is the ensemble mean that starts to lift back up into very weakly positive territory. Again, just telling us that so we may pick up slightly into April and this probably isn't the uh, final warming for this season of the stratosphere. But uh, yeah, what a, what a strange season it's been. Very uh, sort of entertaining season for our very first uh, season of uh, uh, Strat Watches. You know, we've had a very entertaining season. Some winters we don't go through the winter, we, you know, we don't get a warming from beginning to end. We just we just get our final warming right at the, um, you know, in, well into the spring, and that's it. But uh, some winters, I mean, I think um, 2013, 14, 
was was like that probably 2019-20 for PV of Doom, which as well. There were no warmings of Stratosphere from beginning to end in in those winters, I don't think. So um, what's happened this winter, this season, uh, with these repeated warmings? Very, very different, very unusual. And uh, although we will bring Stratwatch back for next winter, I would not be expecting anything quite as, <laughs> quite as strange or unusual for the next season of Strat Watches. We are probably due a winter soon where we don't get any uh, notable warming of the stratosphere from beginning to end during those winters. We're probably going to get one of those winters before very much longer. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, episode 17 of Strat Watch. Got one more, as I say, to go. Uh, next week, episode 18, will be the final installment of this season of Strat Watch. So if you've enjoyed the video and you've enjoyed this season of Strat Watches, then please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody for doing that. Go back at 6 o'clock with your 10 to 14 there, so I shall see you live for that. But for episode 17 of Stratwatch, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.